Hi everyone, this is me, Chris9017, and we're looking at a new arrival from Bachman. Yeah, the favorite spot from eBay, and this engine is a new 242. I wanted an engine that sort of resembled like that of the Puffing Billy locomotives, and this was the closest one I could find in large scale. So I uh, bid on this. It was about $120, and it was pretty darn good. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's got working cab hatch, windows and doors, beautiful back head detail. And look at this. Beautiful outside frame, inside operating Stevenson valve gear. I can't believe this is not a Spectrum. And uh, even the turbine generator says it's built by uh, some kind of electric company, which is amazing. They don't even have that on their Spectrum models yet. Their side tanks are amazing, and so is all the piping and the water pump. Yeah, it's a very durable locomotive. And also these spring-loaded couplers are amazing. They're high for the new standard height. And we'll check on the right hand side of the locomotive. Yeah, you can see it's got really good air compressor detail. I love the visor headlamp. Uh, don't mind that. There's some of my neighbors uh, playing outside and uh, they're making a lot of noise. <laughs> Well, as I was saying, beautiful detail on this water pump and the exhaust and the injection. Beautiful coal bunker detail. Beautiful nut bolt and washer detail. All the rivets, more than you would care to count. It's just so amazing. And look at the uh, side tank straps. It's just wow. Bachman has really uh, done a good job with a big hauler's engine. I can't tell that this is not Spectrum. And I am really shocked it's not in their Spectrum line. It does have holes for a speaker in the bunker. And I do plan to add a Phoenix sound system for this locomotive. Uh, this will run on my Big Island and Pacific Railroad in Hawaii and will be number three and will be named the Puffing Billy. You can see it's really a smooth running locomotive. There we go. And now Parker. A little bit more. Well, there we go. Valves are properly timed. Wow. You can tell because if the rods are up on this side and brought all the way forward on the right hand side, like this would be all the way up to here on the other side, well, the uh, rods are up on this side, the left-hand side. That is a sign of good valve timing on models and actuals. That is how it's supposed to look. Yeah, some companies make it backwards where uh, the right-hand side is up and this is all the way forward. Um, that doesn't really look right. Well, not to my opinion. So for me, I like the look of this better where it's completely up on the left-hand side and the cylinders all the way forward. Or piston, should I say, is all the way forward on the right-hand side. Anyway, what else is cool? It has a sliding cab hatch. The doors open. Windows open. Bachman has really done a good, good job with this engine. 
Yeah, the one I really wanted was a green locomotive. This in the painted unlettered green version, because that is really, really beautiful, and I'm still on the hunt for that engine, because I'd like to buy uh, that engine for myself uh, on my usual uh, fun and to uh, tooting around, instead of using it on a layout in Hawaii where it will hardly be used. But anyway, this will be a fine addition to my Hawaiian locomotive collection. Well, that's it for now. See you later. Chris9017 out.